Welcome back to another episode of TVT Nation. I'm Roman Vladimirsky. Today we're back again with another 60 second challenge. I'm still full from the last steak Mario bought me when he told me that I couldn't do it. So now I have to prove it to him that I can do it again. So today we're going to dive into one of the world's biggest mysteries of life. And that is the difference between a condo and a co-op. Now, in 60 seconds, I'm going to try to get in the most differences that I possibly can. So if I miss anything, make sure you comment below to either correct me or get some more information, but you won't have to correct me. I'll be fine. Three, two, one, here we go. There are two main differences between a condo and a co-op. Number one is the purchase process. When you purchase a co-op, you have to go through a uh, board approval. The people that sit on the board have to judge you based on your finances and they can either approve or deny you to welcome you into their community. In a condo, there is none of that. It's much like a straight purchase of a single family house where at the end of the process, you obtain a deed and you own the real property. In a co-op, you do not obtain a deed. You get what's called a proprietary lease and shares in a corporation. Think of the building as a corporation and each apartment has X amount of shares in that corporation to which you now own as a proprietary lease holder. Another main difference is typically a co-op is a little bit less expensive per square foot. So they're a lot more affordable. So I pretty much got through the gist of it in about 50 or so seconds. If you have any additional questions on what's a condo versus a co-op, please comment below, like and subscribe, or reach out to us and we'll be sure to explain it in a little bit more detail.